Hi, this is Jason Molesky. In this example, we'll take a look at linear transformations of random variables. One brand of bathtub comes with a dial to set the water temperature. When the baby safe setting is selected and the tub is filled, the temperature X of the water follows a normal distribution with a mean of 34 degrees Celsius and a standard deviation of 2 degrees Celsius. Let's define the random variable Y to be the water temperature in degrees Fahrenheit when the dial is set on baby safe. Now recall that uh, Fahrenheit is equal to 9 fifths times Celsius plus 32. Let's find the mean and standard deviation of y. Well, according to the formula for converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, y equals 9 fifths x plus 32. We could also write this in the form y equals 32 plus 9 fifths x. Now the mean of y is equal to 32 plus 9 fifths times the mean of x. Recall that when we're transforming variables, adding a constant will change the mean and multiplying by a constant will also change the mean. So to find the new mean for degrees Fahrenheit, we take 32 plus 9 fifths times the mean of Celsius, 34, and we receive 93.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The standard deviation of y will be 9 fifths times the standard deviation of x. Recall adding a constant does not change any of the measures of spread. So all we have to do to find the standard deviation of y is multiply the standard deviation of x, 2, times 9 fifths, and we get 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Now according to Babies R Us, the temperature of a baby's bath water should be between 90 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Find the probability that the water temperature on a randomly selected day when the baby safe setting is used meets the Babies R Us recommendation. Well, we already found the mean and standard deviation of y. We know that uh, the variable y will actually follow a normal distribution with a mean 93.2 and standard deviation of 3.6. So we can sketch that and shade our area of interest. Next, we can standardize each of those boundary values. So we find that 90 is actually 0.89 standard deviations below the mean, while the temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit is 1.89 standard deviations above the mean. Now to find the probability, we need the area in between, so we'll have to look those up on our standard normal table and we find 0 0.9706 minus 0.1867 for a total of 0.7839. So there's about a 78% chance that the water temperature will meet the recommendation on a randomly selected day. For some additional practice with linear transformations, try exercise 45. 